Hi, I'm Sam. I'm one of the doctors. And yeah, I, I've never done it before. I've always been, hi, I'm Sam, one of the medical students. <laughs> um, so I'm hoping I don't mess it for my first try. <laughs> Um, Dr. Samuel Charles Byrne, MBBS, MRes. Yeah, I've been a doctor for minus one day, so I'm starting tomorrow. I'm starting in psych liaison, so I'll be like kind of part of the team uh, that goes see people with um, mental health problems as they're inpatients in hospital. I'm not really sure what I'll be doing like myself, but um, looking forward to it. So um, I spent six years um, studying in Newcastle. The first four were just studying medicine. Then I took a year out to do a master's in Tanzania, when unfortunately, due to a surprising pandemic, I had to come back early. Um, and then um, this last year, I just finished my fifth year of medicine. So for the foundation job, which is kind of the two years that every doctor does as they start, I'm starting on site liaison, and then I've got some general surgery and then acute medicine. And then in my second year, I've got some critical care, which is like the main job that I wanted to do. Um, and then some care of the elderly and um, a job in GP. But I think longer term, I'm kind of torn between critical care and like anesthetics and then pediatrics. And like both like which I'd most look forward to doing in the UK and which would be like best to work abroad with because I'd definitely like to do that at some point. But yeah, I like to think of critical care um, and pediatrics as the cute or acute pathway. <laughs> but, um, but that's not being coined by anyone else, so I'll take a trademark on it. <laughs> I kind of like how general they can both be. Whilst like in a specific area, you get like lots of general different types of medicine. It's different from in some parts of hospital medicine, you'll kind of like end up focusing on one organ system. And whilst like they all kind of interact, like the respiratory doctors are mostly focused on the lungs um, and like the gastro doctors are mostly focused on like the intestinal system. In critical care, you're kind of like seeing the whole picture and seeing how it works together. And similarly in pediatrics, you can be a general pediatrician who's like focusing on kind of the whole picture and like um, how to make them better. What would you have done if you didn't get into medicine? I'm not sure, maybe physics. Definitely like when I was deciding at the time, that's what I would have done. Now maybe, I'm not sure, something like economics, but I think physics like definitely like interested me the most as like the science of it. Um, and if I were to do like anesthetics, um, that would kind of tie in quite nicely because there's a physics module as part of anesthetics kind of seeing how um, fluids flow through a tube because if you put like a slightly wider cannula in you can deliver a lot more of like fluid or blood or whatever you want to give them and kind of seeing how like the different gases react um, in the lungs as well. Do you still do any physics stuff now? Um, not really no. Um, yeah I used to have a, a, a silly blog about maths and physics and um, more jokey but um, I haven't really done much physics recently so I'd have to probably get out um, I like old books. At the moment I'm quite interested in running and that type of thing. Um, when I was in Tanzania I did a marathon um, like as part of the Kilimanjaro marathon which was kind of on the third day of arriving so fortunately there wasn't much altitude but if there was I wouldn't really have had time to acclimatize um, so that was really fun so kind of like I managed to pass the finish line and then absolutely fell apart um, and I think I like we there's disagreement on what happened but I think I sat on a big block of ice and then went slightly crazy, um, but some friends think that the block of ice didn't exist in the first place. Um, but kind of, I sat on this block of ice, and then I thought that I'd ruined, because it was so painful and cold, that I thought, oh no, I've ruined my legs, they'll never feel anything again. And so then I was pouring, like, I was going to my friend saying I needed water, who thought I was hot, and then I'd, I'd get given the bottle of water, and I'd just pour it all over my legs to try and, like, warm them up. Um, and then eventually I was like, this isn't enough water. So I like w went to a tap and like said, I need a bucket. So they got me a bucket. And I was like sitting in a bucket in a tap with water going in. Meanwhile, wearing like one of those short sleeved like marathon tops, telling my friend that I wasn't crazy. And it was the sanest that I'd ever thought in my entire life, which clearly wasn't the case. But um, yeah, I think I just exhausted myself a little bit too much. And I think not having enough like sugar and salt and just the heat and the exhaustion, I think all piled together to like, a terrible state of um, just exhaustion, really. I was going to look plausible that they won't ask too many questions about an bad wound, but even something so embarrassing mm. that they won't ask me about it, or so mild that they won't question it. How about Josh cannot work today as he has a terrible case of the man flu? Um, he will come back when he's ready. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.
Thank you very much.